Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Dark Tranquility, End Time Signals, out August 16th on Century Media Records. The album has 12 tracks, 51 minutes in length, and this is the band's 13th full-length studio album. They are a Swedish melodic death metal band. This is one of those records that could easily be 60 minutes, 2 hours, and I don't think anybody would be complaining about it. When you build the record the right way, when you have quality music in that same record, everything becomes simplified. And the listening experience is one that allows the listener to not feel burdened by the songs, but rather taken in by them, uh, you know, caressed by the way the music is coming at you, and the journey becomes one of timeless nature. And that's exactly how this album comes across. It has the right flow from the opening song all the way to the closing song, the right ebbs and flows to allow you to feel always comfortable in the listening experience, always looking forward to the next song, forget about the sense of time. This is a record that becomes timeless in the way that it presents itself, giving incredible quality to what it means to listen to this record, and that quality is coming through from the individual quality of each and every single song. Great design, great way of putting it all together, great way of making 51 minutes feel like 25. As far as the sound is concerned, this album had a few surprises for me. The first surprise that it had is that it has a very dark essence to it. And when I mean dark, I don't mean the album uh, sounding like a black metal record or being a blackened album. That's not what I'm talking about. This record just has this very dark, almost sinister atmosphere to it. You're gonna find it on the keys, uh, the impact that they have in that atmosphere, in the sound, but also in the guitars. A lot of the the solos and even the melodies that this album have have a sense of darkness to them. They always feel um, very eerie in, in how you in how they are presented and how the listener will perceive them. And that was something that surprised me because I always find a sense of hope and a sense of brightness in their melodies and in the way they construct songs and even in how the keys work their way into the overall song structures and the atmosphere that they add to that to those same songs. In this record, I felt like it went a little bit in a, in a different way. It, it, it shows a different path, uh, a much darker path, and at least it left me with that sensation of being a much darker record than what I've come to expect from a Dark Tranquility. The other element of this album that adds to that darkness, but it also slightly different uh, from the experience that it offers, is that the sound of this album is a little bit more dense. Uh, I was expecting the record to be a little bit thinner uh, because if the melody does one thing uh, within Dark Tranquility records is that it thins out the volume of the tracks. The tracks still feel big, they still are heavy and impactful and all of that, but the melody tends to thin out a little bit of, of the layers of the music and, and they have a sense of moving easier because of that thinness that they carry. This album felt a lot denser sound-wise it felt a lot thicker. Some of the heaviness is coming from that same volume, from that same density, from that same thickness. And like I said, the darkness is also permeating a little bit from that experience into what the overall record feels. It doesn't mean that the album is not melodic anymore, and it doesn't mean that the album is not heavy anymore. All of those elements are still there. All of that is still true. You can still make a very melodic sounding record with a lot of melancholy mixed in together. You can still make a heavy sounding album but you can create a little bit more of a dense atmosphere, of a dense soundscape that becomes a little bit more difficult to tell one element for the other. This is one of those records. The melodic guitar sound is pretty much the one that breaks apart from everything else in a more defined way. It's a lot easier to listen to it, it's a lot easier to detect when that portion of the sound of the record breaks away. Same thing with some of the keys, some of some of the keys on this album, the, the melody that they add or the atmosphere that they infuse break a little bit away from that density, allows you to have some pockets of clarity within, within the record and that makes the album a lot easier to digest. It's not necessarily 100% of a dense album through and through beginning to end because that would be completely uh, a, a different kind of experience. It would make this album at 51 minutes very hard to digest sound-wise. So having these pockets of clarity uh, that come in and break away that density uh, allows them to create a very unique atmosphere for this record, a very unique sound, but one that it's still so welcoming, that's still so inviting for the listener, making the album perhaps a little bit more textured, but textured in a different way, 
in a way that you cannot necessarily see all the levels and all the layers that exist within that texturedness, but still there nevertheless. Uh, another element that I really enjoyed within the guitars were the solos. I, I thought that the solos, while breaking away from the density of the sound, they don't necessarily offer clarity. If anything, they enhance a little bit of that uh, of that nuance of darkness that exists within this album, or at least they make it feel a little bit more palpable. So it's a, a nice dynamic that they have because in, on one hand they break away, but on the other hand they kind of bring you back in to that same uh, starting point, almost going like boomerang, if you will. Uh, and that's that's a very different element that definitely adds, you know, texture and, and adds um, character to the way not just the guitar sound, but the way the whole record sounds. A, a record that also allows the bass to come through quite frequently, quite often. And that was something that I enjoyed tremendously in the mix because, uh, once again, it adds character to the album. Uh, the bass at times brings in a little bit of that dark flavor to the record. Other times it adds a little bit more grooviness to the album. Uh, but it's always there at the right spot, or at least becomes a little bit more noticeable at the right spot in the right songs in order to enhance the message, in order to enhance the vibe, the aura that those songs are trying to put through. The, the drums, in my opinion, while being a, a source of heaviness for this album, uh, at times, not consistently, but at times, they lose themselves within that density that exists uh, mixed in with the guitars. And that allows them to feel quite consistent from beginning to end, but not necessarily consistent once you start to really look deeper into them. Uh, they are there and they're a part of their density, they're part of the heaviness, they're part of the thickness. There are moments where they break away, but they don't break away as far as some of the melodies on the guitars or even uh, the keys and the impact that they have. So it's an element that offers a sense of consistency, but not necessarily being 100% consistent all the time. What's 100% consistent all the time is the quality and the vocal performance. An album that uses a little bit more of the heavy, harsher vocal range than the cleaner one, but it uses the clean side of the vocals in order to bring into the forefront the underbelly of this record. I think you have to look at the vocal performance on this album and almost approach it as a duet. A duet between what you get out of the harsh vocals versus what you're getting out of the clean vocals almost like two different bodies in, or, or two different souls in a single body, very Jekyll and Hyde, not in terms of how they approach the songs, not in terms of how they battle one another within the songs, but rather in terms of what they offer from the songs to the listener. If you look at the lyrical content, if you look at the emotion behind those lyrics and then how they're delivered, you have to look at the clean and harsh vocals as, like I said, as, as two souls in a single body. And I think that's where this album, uh, while being very consistent in terms of the quality that the vocals offer, this aspect of the record I thought was incredibly important for this album to work and for this album to have the impact that it will have. It's not easy to approach the vocal performance from that angle or at least to appreciate it from that angle, but I think the more you listen to this album, the more you'll see that this really feels like two different sides just two different sides of a single coin. And while the clean vocals don't play as much of a role or don't have as much of a predominant role throughout the entire record as the harsh vocals do, I think the clean vocals are there to really define what the harsh vocals are doing. More than ever on this album, I honestly felt like the clean vocals are the unsung hero because they play not only an important part of defining the mood the experience of this album, the, the more self-reflected side of this album, but they also play a very important role in defining what the harsh vocals are going to carry through from an emotional standpoint. And then you have certain songs where obviously you get more of one, more of the other, but overall you have to look at the vocal performance in general throughout the record and see that battle that exists, that that duality, those those two different souls fighting for premacy of, 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 of a single body. It's definitely a, a pure representation of what this album is all about, that internal struggle, that angel uh, and the demon, one on each side of your shoulder, taking turns on speaking on your behalf and telling you exactly what this album and what these songs are all about. And from that standpoint, the album elevates itself from what I've seen from Dark Tranquility 
in the past, allowing this to be just another amazing record on a very long list of amazing albums by Dark Tranquility. I don't know, I, I can't say that they keep raising the bar because at this point there's just, you know, there's no bar anymore. Like these guys just uh, know what they're doing and this album, perhaps more than any other from the band, had a lot of question marks coming into it. There's been some lineup changes and that always gonna have an effect on how the music is gonna come through and how the album is gonna be put together. I gotta say, I was extremely surprised and impressed by how good this album is. It is a different record from the last two albums by Dark Tranquility. I don't think that's something that anybody can deny. This is a different sounding album. It's a differently emotionally driven album. It's a different album all around. Like I said, a denser, darker, uh, thicker sounding record, but a phenomenal album from start to finish. Talk about an incredible journey of sound, lyrics, and vocals that take you across 51 minutes, once again, feeling like 25. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with Neuronal Fire, a thicker, denser sound uh, with a more melodic interlace that adds almost a little bit of a sci-fi experience to this track. And that is not just true on this song, that sci-fi experience that comes from the keys, predominantly from the keys, but from the overall melody of the record is really important to set the mood of this album, because this album has a little bit of a almost post-apocalyptic uh, feel to it. And, and that's where the darkness really comes from. So having these, uh, on this song specifically, having that sci-fi vibe perhaps becoming a little bit more palpable uh, really helps define what the rest of the album is gonna be all about and really helps define uh, a lot of the key moments within this record. Now, I love the keys on this track because they're just coming in as raindrops, like perhaps acid rain, but raindrops Nevertheless, I, I really enjoyed that experience. Um, it adds darkness just by the way it's presented. It adds a sense of, of finality to it. And it's a very cool way of, of adding a, a, a very unique characteristic to this track. The chorus is a little bit more melodic, a little bit brighter, or at least there's a little bit more clear volume, less dense as far as the sound is concerned. The verses are more straightforward, more compact and I really enjoyed the bass on this track because it added quite a bit of texture to the song and the vocals, the harsh vocals on this song are very consistent, adding a very linear feel throughout the track and a track that has also a really great solo that completes the way this song is presented. Next we have Not Nothing, this is easily one of my favorite if not the favorite song on this record. Very haunting song, both musically and vocally. The clean vocals add to that feel of haunting, hauntingness that this track has. The harsh vocals have more uh, a sense of finale. They almost end, uh, they, they put almost a, a, an end feel into the way this, like an angry, um, like a pissed off mood uh, in the way they present themselves. And then it has great guitar melodies. Uh, it cre the, cre the guitar melodies don't only create a little bit of a haunting experience to this track, but they also build you to a more heavier climax, heavier sound and heavier vocals that really define where this song is taking is a track that always feels like it's gradually walking towards a peak and it reaches that peak and then you come crashing down and then it builds up towards that peak again. It has great sense of sound. It's a track that within its harsh vocals, there's a rebellious attitude within his clean vocals. There's more of a, a sense of finality, a little bit of haunting, hauntingness, like I said, to it. And then once again, another great solo that really adds life to the track. And then this is a song that closes exactly as it starts. Very haunting, with a very melodic opening, a very melodic closing, allowing you to feel that it's going full circle. Last but definitely not least, the closing track on this record, False Reflection. First of all, what a closing song. I think this is a track that's unique within itself, unique with the sound, unique the way it's presented, unique from a vocal approach standpoint. And that is the best way that you can close off 51 minutes of Dark Tranquility with a track that really feels like the end. Um, it also feels reflective. It's very interesting that the song is called False Reflection because when you're listening to this song and you're listening to the piano, specifically the piano on this song, that piano gives you a sense of reflection, a sense of pause, a sense of you thinking about what's going on. It has a little bit of a ballad style to the way the track is presented. It still has some heaviness to it. It still builds towards some heavier moments. But overall, it really feels like a ballad, musically, vocally, what the piano does to this track. Uh, I really like the way the clean vocals uh, take control of this song. Some of the electronic elements on the backdrop with the piano, adding this incredible clean atmosphere, this really sense of, 
a, a finality, but also sense of reflection once again, uh, uh, peace within your own inner thoughts, uh, or at least a sense of peace with your own inner thoughts, which is an important aspect of where this, the way the song closes off, an album that's all about that, that it gives me that sensation that's a lot about introspective time and reflection and thinking, and sometimes perhaps not taking enough time to do that. So this is a very interesting album from that standpoint and closing off with this track is just perfect because it's a song that really encapsulates a lot of the mood, a lot of the vibe that the entire record gives. Dark Tranquility, End Time Signals out August 16th on Century Media. Let me know your thoughts on the band on the singles. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll see you all at the next one. Take care, guys.